how to develop a millionaire mindset. Did you know that I went from zero to millionaire in less than two years? Well, it is absolutely true. I'm gonna share with you all of what I did, but more importantly, how you can do it too. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm going to share with you a detailed step-by-step -step process on how you actually develop a millionaire mindset quickly. And I'm going to be vulnerable and share with you the biggest gain that has changed in my life since I started making some of these changes in my routines. And I'm going to share with you the biggest hack that I learned from my $500 million mentor. First, let me tell you all of the benefits that exist and what I mean by a millionaire lifestyle. A millionaire lifestyle does not mean that you work all of the time. When I'm talking about being a millionaire, I'm talking about someone that earns at least a million dollars per year, has more than a million dollars in cash, and has a million dollars in assets. So kind of when I'm talking about a millionaire, those are the three technical definitions of the word, but that does not necessarily mean that you are living a millionaire lifestyle. When we talk about a millionaire mindset and a millionaire lifestyle, yes, it is someone that has achieved financially on a high level. Yes, it is someone that earns a lot of money. Yes, it is someone that probably has a lot of things saved and, and, and physical, tangible things that they've manifested. Absolutely, that's what I mean by a millionaire. But more than that, I mean someone that lives a millionaire lifestyle, someone that owns their own time. They don't work for someone else. They're not, um, you know, stressed out. They're not someone that has no time and is upset and is miserable and has a lot of enemies and things like that. I'm definitely talking about someone that is living a really good life. And you do not necessarily have to be earning a million dollars a year to be living a millionaire lifestyle. A millionaire lifestyle is like some of my friends that I've shown you on this channel that live in Puerto Rico and Costa Rica in the Barbados and they write books or they have a podcast or they used to flip houses and now they have their own time and freedom to do whatever it is that they want or other millionaires that I know that know how to make four million dollars in less than a day and then they really just kind of get to do whatever it is that they want most of the time. Those are the type of millionaires that I'm friends with and those are the type of millionaire lifestyles that I am talking about. So let's talk about how you really develop the mindset to get you to some of these levels where you're happy and you own your time and you feel free. So number one, and again, this is really vulnerable. You have to face your fears. If you want to start developing a millionaire mindset, meaning you have the ability to start manifesting anything that it is in your life that you want, you're gonna to have to face your fears. There is no way that you're going to earn a million dollars and not do something scary, not take risk. There's no way, I assure you, you're going to have to start taking risks. You're going to have to go around people that you don't know. You're gonna to have to go to places you don't know. You're gonna hear words and languages that you don't know. You're gonna be the stupidest one in the room sometimes. There are so many things that are going to happen to you when you really start to go to that next level. Because most of us, again, just speaking to you, you probably didn't grow up rich. You probably didn't grow up with millions of dollars. If you did, then you probably already have this mindset and you'll just turn this video off. But if you're like me and you're probably someone that has struggled, that has maybe lived in your parents' basement, faced bankruptcy, foreclosure, bad credit, you know, just was not living your best life and people were saying that you probably could be doing better. If you're like how I was, then you're going to have to start changing that. You're going to have to start changing who you are. Are. And the thing that's so important is you're going to have to change your own mindset. It's not other people that, that you're afraid of. It's not what they think or what they will say. It's your own fears about what you're capable of. Let me say that again. You are going to have to face your fears. You probably have a fear that someone's going to say something negative about you or someone's going to laugh at you or you're going to feel stupid talking on YouTube or wearing your hair or whatever it is that you do. You're probably going to have those uncomfortable moments and you have a fear about it. Get over it, okay? Face them. If you want to get to that next level and you want to be the best version of you and live your best life, you're going to have to get over your fear of what other people think or your fear of what it is that you're supposed to be doing that you're not doing or your fear that, you know, someone's going to judge you. 
It doesn't matter. You don't care. Face those fears and start moving in the direction to become and be the person that you want to be. That's the only way to get to this millionaire lifestyle. So let me tell you the next thing because it's super important. Number two, your morning routine is key. If you want to start developing a millionaire mindset where you're a type of person that would even charge more for your services or start a business or, you know, increase your prices or ask for a raise or any of the things that are going to be required for you to increase your income to do any of those things that to change your life, you are going to have to start your day properly. There is no way that you're going to be able to continue with those routines where you wake up five minutes, you're hitting the snooze button, you drag yourself out of the bed in the morning, you hate the mornings, all of those things. You're going to have to change your morning routine. Every single millionaire and my $500 million mentor told me the importance of my morning routine. And I had already had some idea and I had started changing my morning routine, but I was not religious about it the way that I am now. It is literally a morning ritual. It is something that I do every single morning and it has changed my life. I get up in the morning and I do not look at my cell phone. I do not turn on screens. I do not look at laptops or television or news or any of those things. I turned off all the notifications on my phone. No more CNN, no more, you know, Fox News or MSNBC or any of those news, no Yahoo none of that stuff no notifications whatsoever my phone does not beep buzz or ding when someone calls me or texts me none of those things especially when I first wake up in the morning the first two hours that I wake up in the morning is so important for me to set my day get grounded in who I am and what it is that I want to do with myself so that I can show up as the best version of me your morning routine matters. You're going to have to start waking up earlier. Let's tell, let me give you a fun fact. The average millionaire wakes up between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. The average person that is not a millionaire wakes up between the hours of 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. Trust me, those two hours make a big difference. I am able to accomplish more before most people wake up in the morning than they do all day long, and it's incredible. Additionally, I'm able to set up my day so that I can delegate, so that I can be a boss in my business and not work in my business. This is how you get there. You don't start here. You don't start off as the boss in your business. You start off probably working in your business, but if you do these things and you work on your morning routine, I assure you, it will change and then you will be the boss and be able to delegate in your business and things still get done in your business work even if you don't. Number three, affirmations work like magic. Write that down. Affirmations work like magic and more importantly, positive affirmations in the morning will change your life. If you wake up in the morning and you look yourself in the mirror and you say, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am worthy, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am wise, I am brilliant, I am loving, I am love. Like these are actually my affirmations. And again, you can make up your own. I've said them so many times, so many mornings that I have them memorized. I could go over and over. In fact, I end up almost rampaging about my affirmations about me because what I learned and what someone taught me is that what you put after the I am is who you are. You set and say who you are. No one tells you who you are. If someone says you're stupid or you're dumb or you're a, a blonde or you're a this, you're a that. You don't have to accept that. You say who you are. You don't have to be black. You don't have to be white. You don't have to be this or anything that you don't want to be. You don't have to be a woman or man. Whatever it is that you want to be, you are. You can be, have, or do anything that you want to do and it starts with you telling you that and shutting out some of those other voices but if you wake up in the morning and you look yourself in the mirror say your affirmations do this for at least 10 minutes a day every single day before you start your day before you face and start talking to other people affirm to yourself who you are and last but not least you are going to have to try new things you're going to have to try new things go to new places and meet new people. If you want to develop a millionaire mindset, you need to be someone that has new ideas flowing to you. You cannot have those same thoughts that you have had. In order to change your life, you have to change your life. And in order to change your life, you need to change your thoughts, not change your location per se, or change your weight, or change your height, or your hair. None of those things physically do you necessarily need to change to develop this mindset, 
But what I am saying is you do have to be open to new things, new people and new places. You may have to move. You'll definitely have to talk to new people because unfortunately, if you're like most people, your inner circle are not millionaires. Your inner circle does not have the proper mindset to go to the next level. Otherwise, they would already be there. So if you're going to a new place and you want to get into a new circle and have a new life where you're free and you make tons of money and, you know, making three million dollars in a day is nothing to you, then you're going to have to get around people that do that. If you're around someone that makes ten thousand dollars and they're telling you that's all you can make and and these people are lying to you and none of this stuff is real and, and you can't be rich and you can't be happy and you can't be free, then that's who you are. But if you want new people who tell you like Noel tells you that you can have or be or do anything that you want, then you're going to have to come be around new people that think like Noel. Just using that as an example. So start to open up your mind, start to realize that new people are going to be coming into your life. You're going to be talking to new people and you're probably not going to be talking to the same people that you've been talking to. And I'll give you a quick example. When I was going from my transformation from zero to millionaire, I really had to stop talking to a lot of people that I, that I grew up with, stop talking to my childhood friends, stop talking to my mom all the time, stop talking to my cousins and people that I used to just enjoy sitting on the phone talking to. Not because they were bad people, not because they were negative, not even because they put me down in any way, shape or form. I needed to talk to new people. I needed new ideas. I needed a new perspective. And the only way to get that is to go be around new people and do new things. So open yourself up to that. Don't be afraid. There's more people like you than you would ever imagine. You probably think that you're an oddball and that you're so different. And it's so funny because the more people I meet, I used to think I was so different. They're all telling me we're just alike. Go find your people. So I have written a book called Real Estate Millionaire Secrets where I pour my heart and I tell you my exact story on how I went from zero to millionaire and I give you the real beginner's guide on how to make millions in real estate. And guess what? I'm giving this book away absolutely free. Just go to noellesfreebook.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, noellesfreebook.com. The book is absolutely free. You just cover the shipping and the handling. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.